Okay everyone, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you can hear me okay. It's windy as all get out at the moment. And, uh, but I've got a little fluffy thing on my mic here. What I'm giving you a look at today is just a couple of solar panels, folding solar panels that I went down and picked up from Sydney. I'm in Newcastle, it was about, I don't know, an hour 40, two hour drive but well worth the investment of time in my mind. The reason I was so excited about this was the price. They're 200 watt solar panels, and I picked them up for $120 each for each 200 watt folding solar panel. The biggest benefit here for me though is these are 36 volt solar panels. So they're gonna be a match up for the ones that I've currently got on the caravan and the other one that I'm gonna throw on the roof of the Pajero. Currently the Pajero is carrying two 120 watt 12 volt panels going into the projector DC DC charger which also takes the solar input. I've not been fantastically happy with the solar input uh, on the projector so I'm going to swap over for a Tracer EP Ever solar controller, MPPT solar controller, same as I've got in the caravan. It will take the additional voltage that's supplied by these panels and convert that over to additional current for the charging of my battery or for running the radios, fridge, whatever I've got in there. So we'll do a video when I get around to doing that. But the biggest benefit is having these is when I park the caravan in the shade with its 36 volt panels, obviously sometimes I'm not getting the most benefit out of the solar panels there and I need something that I can remote stick out in the sun. 200 watts is gonna be more than enough. Or if I am in the sun, this will obviously be able to complement that 400 odd watts. That'll give me about 600 watts there. In retrospect, I should have grabbed the 160 watts he had. They were a bit smaller than these and they could have lived in the car. I figured I don't think these are gonna fit into the actual box out of the back of the Pajero, but I think the 160 watts would have. So the 160 watts he had for 100 bucks for the 36 volters and 120 for the 200. So consequently, I grabbed 200. I only went down there for one, such a good deal. I bought back two. Now, other than seeing the pictures on the website, I haven't pulled these out, I haven't looked at them, uh, so you'll be having a look at these with me for the first time. I've got the multi meter out there while the soldering iron's heating up. They do have MC4 connectors on it, which is your standard solar connectors. We're gonna be cutting those off straight away and we'll be sticking some Anderson plugs on and I'll be making up an extension lead as well so I can run these with the caravan. Anyway, I'm gonna open these up. Let's have a look at them. Hey, get off. Off, go. Dog absolutely loves standing and stuff. Now these are about 20 kilos each. So they are not light. When I went to pick them up, I went to pick them up both on the one side and couldn't manage it. But obviously when I had the two lots of the solar panels and I'm picking them up side by side, that was not a problem at all. They do come in these nice, you know, whether you would call that a case or a bag, they have a very, very solid handle on them. So the handle itself is sprung, which is nice. It does have quite a good spring on it. I'm really liking these cases, these are excellent. So the 160 watts he had, had the same case, which just makes it that much easier for transportation. These will probably live under the caravan bed, so I'll be able to chuck other stuff on that without having to worry about damaging the actual panels. Okay, they look nice and clean. I believe these to be new. There we go, but again, 20 kilos each. That's why I won't be carrying two of these in the caravan. I certainly don't want to be adding an additional 40 kilos. The 160 watts, I think, were only about 17 kilos. So for an extra three kilo and an extra 20 bucks, 200 watts were a no-brainer. Now, I don't think these are going to be too much different to, you know, anybody's normal solar panels. They're going to look pretty much the same. Now, they don't have a solar controller on it. Straight away, I'm, I'm really impressed with these. Those leads could probably be a little bit thicker, but it's a nice length of lead. We've got some destructions there, how to use your folding panel kit. But straight away, I'm seeing these legs look really good. These are a real solid leg. I'm really happy with these, I think, and we haven't even got into them yet. So it is saying two 100 watt panels, uh, Solar World is the brand. They are a mono panel, 43.2 volt open circuit, and it is saying about 5.62 amps. So it'll be interesting to see what the conversion happens with the MPPT controller once we get it connected up. These legs are probably going to be some of the best legs I've actually seen on a solar panel. These are really, really solid, and that mechanism is bloody brilliant. So what we're going to do is going to pop it up, and then just test our voltages and see what we're getting out of these panels. Now in relation to angles of your solar panels, I will do a video one day about the differences uh, in the voltages and output that you're gonna get from your panels. I've really noticed a big difference. That just that you know, 10 degrees or something can make a difference as far as getting uh, you know, that, some additional current out of your panels. Another thing that really affects panels, obviously, is heat. And we might even do a test on that as well because I certainly found when I put the solar panels on the caravan roof, giving them a squirt 
with the hose to bring the temperatures down was certainly worth about another amp or something like that to me. So keeping your panels cool, having some spacing under them, there's some real benefits to be had there and getting them on the right angle. That said, I know it's not always possible to put your panels on the right angle up to the sun. I'm gonna have a look at some uh, 12 volt actuators to see whether I can get those somehow into my setup on the caravan roof and possibly even the car roof to be able to have them on a, on a switch and just have those panels angle up towards the sun automatically. Well, not automatically, manually, but uh, with the actuators and with the lifters. I'll put a link to those down in the description. Somebody actually pointed those out to me on eBay and they look really, really good. Different sizes, different costs. Around about the 20 odd bucks, so I'd need a few of those. So I'm thinking for around about the $100, I could probably arrange something just to have it on a switch, flick it, and then have the panels go up. I'll worry about that later. For now, I'm just going to get behind these panels. We've got the first one set up in the sun. We'll get around it with a multimeter and we'll just see what sort of voltages we're getting out of these. <laughs> these are a big set of solar panels, no doubt about that. And there's a nice piece of Velcro holding this cabling all together, which is nice. That'll come in handy for later on. But packing them away. All I'm doing is just grabbing the multimeter, sticking the negative down there to make contact with the negative. We'll stick the positive in there because that'll sit there on its own. Keeping in mind that the sun is fairly low but we've got a good angle there. Okay, that's great. So we're seeing 44 volts out of that panel, which is good. That's uh, close enough to the open circuit voltage. Just make contact there. 43.5, we are putting a little bit of shade with our head there. So that's good. We're getting good output out of that panel, which is excellent. That's what we want to see. And we'll just set up the other one. We'll check that out as well. Now with the solar controller that I have in the caravan, the EP Ever, which is a Tracer uh, 40N something or other, it's a 40 amper, and it will accept up to 100 volts input. Now that was part of the reason I went with that because I was going with the house panels at the 36 volt, and I wasn't sure whether I was gonna wanna put those in parallel or whether I was gonna put those in series which are going to give me closer to the 100 volts. I've actually gone with them in parallel because parallel gives me I guess better efficiencies if there's shading on certain panels. It keeps my voltages down a little bit. It does give me the boost in voltage because we're using the 36 volt panels which means I can use smaller gauge runs of wire if I need to but I'm not worrying about getting up to sort of you know more dangerous voltages around the 100 volts and something like that which will give you <laughs> a nice nudge. These are great legs. <laughs> Um, for the price I've paid for these, frankly, I think they were a bit of a steal. So, very, very happy. If I had, if I had a bit more money on me, I would have grabbed a few other sets and passed them out to friends. That being said, all of my friends' solar setups, they've all just gone with the standard solar setups, which is just with the 12 volt panels, which is standard. That's pretty much what everybody does. Uh, everybody goes with what they know, and frankly, the the solar panels at 12 volt for your car and caravan type installs. That's pretty much your standard, and that's what's yeah, regularly available. When you go to something like a 36 volt setup, must have an MPPT controller, because so it can benefit from the increased voltage. So if you have 36 volt panels, which is basically made to charge a 24 volt system, you try and run those through a PWM controller, it's gonna pull the voltage down, you're still gonna get the same amount of current that you probably would have got at that voltage, but where an MPPT controller will convert that extra voltage over to additional current, sticking it in your battery, PWM won't. So basically you're running 36 volt panels where you can just be running 12s. Your 12s will be smaller and they'll be more compact obviously they'll be lighter. I, I got in touch, touch with this guy on Facebook. Uh, he actually had an ad on the Newcastle Facebook page and apparently he does have about 20 more sets of these available. So if you're interested give me a quick shout. It'll have to be relatively soon because I think these are going to go pretty quickly and I can, I can put you in touch with him. Again keeping in mind these are only going to be useful to you if you have an MPPT controller and you don't already have 12 volt solar panels and you don't already have 12 volt solar panels as part of your setup. If you want to switch over from a 12 volt panel to these, use these instead, they'll be fine, but you can't combine the two. Okay, again, so fingers crossed, positive into positive and we'll just give that negative a touch there. 43.9, so we're still putting a little bit of shade on that, we'll see where that comes up. If we get my head out of the way, 44.2. So both of the panels are putting out an appropriate level of voltage, which is excellent. So consider those testing okay. And realistically, when you get solar panels, if you've got yourself a multimeter, this is probably one of the first things you should do. Get them home, 
get your multi meter and just test the output voltage on just to make sure that they are what they say they are that the voltage is line up with what you're expecting to see have a look at the open circuit voltage which will be listed on the back and providing you within sort of you know a volt or a few volts of that then you know you're okay if you're looking at half or something else like if these come out as an 18 or something like that then i would have had 12 volt panels and they wouldn't be the 36 volts that i wanted so we're in good condition there really happy with these very impressed for the price i paid putting out the voltages they want they are big buggers 20 kilos and they are 36 volt which is absolutely perfect for me now as far as your 36 volt panels if you're looking to get into solar whether it be on your caravan or car there's a number of different ways you can do it you can go and buy a kit you know renergy and stuff like that they have complete kits with have your solar control your panels your wiring all that sort of stuff great easy if you if you're new to it and you want to go with a simple way once you start getting a little bit knowledgeable you can start looking at your different options so what i actually went with was mppt controller it's an ep ever tracer link in the description down below where i got mine from i've got the 40 amp you don't have to go with the big 40 amp but it cost me around about 200 dollars certainly certainly considerably less than the victrons etc some people talk poorly of them and don't appreciate them but there are pages and pages of reviews of people having good results from them so go and do your reading do your research read people's opinions you know see what they say about them for the actual people that have used them so go and check out the ep evers there i think they're i think they're bang for buck if you do a bit of a search on youtube you'll see a number of channels that report on these pretty well and i'm in the same boat i haven't had any issues with mine in the caravan been very very happy with it so with the MPPT controller, that opens things up for me as far as panel options. So what I do, I actually source my solar panels from old house installs. So rather than buying a 12 volt solar panel, I'll go and buy old solar panels that have been taken off houses. Obviously take a multimeter, test them on site, and then pick the ones that I want and then take them home with me. And they're a lot cheaper. So I've got panels out there. I've got two 185 watt solar panels up on the roof of the caravan. So 370 watts up on the roof. I think I paid around about $40 a panel for those. I've also got two 235 watt solar panels and I think I paid about 50 bucks or 60 bucks a piece for those. Again, just off a, an old house install from a solar installer that was replacing with new ones, pulling those ones off and updating. Solar panels that are installed on houses tend to have something like a 25 year warranty. So keeping that in mind, chances are they haven't been on the, on the roof for 25 years. So people are usually upgrading to new ones for their houses when these have still got plenty of life in them and it can be snagged for an absolute bargain. So a couple of 36 volt solar panels off a house. You know, you can go anywhere from sort of 400 to 500 odd watts thereabouts for about 50 bucks a panel. MPPT controller, 200 bucks. Obviously, you're going to need a battery if you want to do that. I've been using the Giant brand batteries from uh, Aussie Batteries and haven't had any issues with those. A lot of the other friends have been buying those as well. I think I know about eight different units that are in caravans and campers that I've put people onto. Nobody's had an issue yet. They're all running very well. So they're at the cheaper end of the spectrum, around about $230, give or take. If you get them on sale, free delivery around Australia and you can get 130 amp, 120 amp, 130, 140 amp battery thereabouts of an AGM deep cycle, plus all your additional wiring and time if you're gonna fit it yourself. So realistically, for around about maybe 600 bucks, you can have a, a really good, good size 400 plus watt solar system set up on your caravan, camper or car. Those are the options that I use. Take that for what it's worth. That's just something that I've done. It's worked well for me. It may not be suitable for your situation and I'm happy to try and answer questions. I'm no expert. I like to fiddle. I get in, I test things. Got a little bit of an understanding obviously of it, but again, do your research, watch lots of videos. Just don't trust one source. Go and look at other information, compare the positives to the negatives, see what's out there and make up your own mind. But for me, these 36 volt, 200 watt solar, folding solar panels for 120 bucks each, I could not do it. I had to bring back two sets. So there you go. Anyway, thanks very much for stopping by. Just wanted to give you an update. I'll catch you on the next one. Any questions, let me know. Cheers guys. Now I guess one benefit of 200 watt solar panels being 20 kilos, it's got awful windy as it is out here today. They're not blowing away. <laughs>